Okay, what's up contractors? I just wanna clear the air here. There is a difference between margin and markup. People are getting it confused and we are finding it's costing them thousands of dollars. So if you remember the math class where you would go in and it would be a bunch of like stuff that looked like this that was super confusing and it ultimately you found out like, oh geez, I'm never going to use this ever. Thank you for wasting my time. I'm hoping this is going to be the exact opposite of that. You don't need to know the exact relationship between the inverse and how this works. Like I'm kind of a math nerd, so this part's cool to me. But if you're not, it's cool. All you need to know is that margin and markup are not the same thing. And a lot of times people calculate them like they are. Margin is a relationship between profit and price and markup is a relationship between cost and price, just so you have some general understanding of what those two terms mean. I wrote out the formulas here, and I'll show you it in a second, but don't sweat it. If you are not a numbers person, at the end of this video, we have a calculator that we have now built into our site that you can just type your numbers in and it will do all the math for you. Basically, there is not one that is better than the other. Um, it's like two forms of measurement. So think of like margin, like kilometers, and then that's miles. All that kind of theory stuff aside, let's run through a real example. We had a client here at CGN where we were confused about his numbers and he wasn't hitting his stuff. He was really excited. And then at the end of the year, he did not have nearly as much money as he thought he was and he was screwed. Well, here's the mistake he was making. He had a job cost of $12,000, okay? And he says to himself, I want 50% gross profit. You'll hear it said by a few different ways. Some people say gross profit, gross profit margin, GPM that's kind of all the same thing. They're all referring to the same thing. So how much am I gonna charge for this, this job? Is, I know, because I know my numbers, I know it's gonna cost me 12,000 and I want to make a 50% gross profit on it. Okay, so let's say you get mixed up, which he did. Then your formula is gonna look like this. So he did the math, um, he, he, basically he thought he was using the margin formula, used the markup formula, and got 18,000. If he did it right, let's look at what he was trying to do. That's what he was trying to do. So if you're not a numbers dude, and all of this has been kind of like nonsense to you, all you need to understand is this. He did the wrong formula, and he thought he was charging $18,000, and that's how he did all of his projects for a year. When really on every single one of those projects, he should have been charging more like $26,000. So that cost him $8,000, for each and every single project he did. So over the course of the year, ended up costing him a little over a couple hundred thousand dollars. So good news is we're in the 21st century. So like just freaking forget about it. We have calculators on our website. I'm gonna pass it over to Logan and he'll show you how to use that. Because honestly, like, I mean, what's the point of living in the 21st century if we aren't gonna use a calculator? Am I right? <laughs> All right, let me go ahead. We have a, a calculator. It's a margin of markup comparison calculator on our website. Let me walk you through just real quick how you can use it and figure this stuff out. So let's say the cost of the job is $10,000. So that means between labor, materials, all that stuff, it's 10 grand. If we want to charge a 55% gross profit margin, which is what we suggest. And the reason we suggest that is because 50% is like the, the, the standard, the rule of thumb stuff happens, slippage happens, delays, stuff you didn't account for, it all happens, we get that. This is your padding in there. So if you mess up, at least you got that 5% little bump, so we only get you know a measly 50% profit, all right? So on that, let's say we wanna go for that 55% margin, or gross profit margin, excuse me, that means that your project, you gotta actually charge $22,000 for that profit amount. You're gonna profit $12,000, you're gonna charge 22 and it's gonna cost you 10. That is a 55% gross profit margin. Now, let's flip it. Let's go ahead and erase all that. Let's say it's the same $10,000. All right, now let's say we are charging a 50% markup, which is actually what most people do. They, they think, well, I'm charging a 50% margin because margin and markup are the same, right? They're not. So at a 50% markup, that's actually a 33% profit margin, which means now instead of charging 22,000, you only charge 15,000, but guess what? You only make five. That is the difference. Go play around on it. Like this stuff is, it, it seems small, and like it's just a, you know, a mix up of two words, but they mean very, very, very different things, and they have completely different outcomes for the business. So 
we got a calculator if you want to play with it and see how are you actually doing on your projects. Now, it's one thing just to say these numbers because you may be looking at the numbers going, I could never charge that. That's fine. We got a whole video just for you that I'm going to put up next. You honestly don't need to know all the formulas and that kind of stuff. Now, if you're a math nerd and you want to comment down below and be like, yo, let's talk about some formulas, don't tempt me because I will. I'll let you know. Nerd. <laughs>